Hey everyone, today have I got a video for you that is going to be totally mind-blowing and this video is in partnership with LaVivid Hair. Now if you remember about a year or so, maybe a little longer than that, I was working with LaVivid Hair which is a company that makes hair replacement units and I actually wore one and let me tell you in my opinion probably the, the best quality there is, it's an amazing company if you ever have any questions, you can reach out to them on Instagram. Just look up Levivid Hair. You can reach out to Tina. You can DM them and she's amazing. She'll work with you and help you. Any advice you have, any questions. But what I'm doing is on a fairly regular basis, probably once a month or so, we're going to be doing makeover videos. And I also have teamed up with Jonathan, who is the owner of Elite Barbershop in Toms River, New Jersey. And Jonathan, the reason I chose Jonathan to work with him is because he has been using Levivid Hair and doing these incredible makeovers, posting them all over social media, and he's put in the work. He's shown that he's got the talent. I trust his abilities, and in this video, this is our first time filming together, I was blown away by not only watching him work, but the techniques he used, the methods, you know, how we work with the client, the whole experience. It was truly amazing. And I, I still get people reaching out to me, asking me if I do the hair units and if I still do them in, on clients. I don't. But if you are in the New Jersey area or even New York, or you want to travel, Jonathan is the guy, in my opinion. That's why I'm working with him. So you can go to him in Tom's River, New Jersey, Elite Barbershop, and he can do the service for you. Truly an amazing guy. But this video is the entire makeover and I really hope you enjoy it. So have a good watch. Welcome to Elite Barbershop here in Toms River, New Jersey. And we are going to show an amazing video of Nick, who is going to be having a transformation. Here is Nick, really, really nice guy. And you are going to be mind blown with what Jonathan is going to be doing. Now he is going to be using a Levivid hair unit. It is a poly base, I believe it's Mirage, and it's a level seven. And to me, the poly base works great, and I just couldn't believe how Jonathan mentioned to me that you know he gets about six months out of this unit. So what we're gonna do is kind of break down the process. So right now he is washing Nick's scalp, he is using a bit of a detergent just to really make sure that that scalp is very, very clean. But also we wanna make sure that this is an experience for Nick, right? It's an experience, he's getting a service done and Jonathan really has you know, gone above and beyond to make sure that Nick really does enjoy this. So now what Jonathan is doing, he's actually creating his foundation of the placement of where the hair unit is going to go and talk about precision. I mean, laser sharp, and he's just getting rid of Nick's you know, existing hair just to make sure we're working on a clean canvas. And he likes to work in more of a square shape so that he keeps the same consistency when he is actually pre-cutting the unit. So Nick already had a unit, and this is a kind of a maintenance job, uh, something that you know, is necessary when wearing one. So Nick came in and Jonathan is actually gonna be servicing the unit, cleaning it off and performing the, you know, replacement. And what he's doing now, he's actually using, you know, very, very warm to hot water to loosen up that adhesive, okay? And the technique that he uses is really pretty fascinating. So he'll let it sit for a little bit just to kind of loosen up that adhesive and now he's taking cotton, right? And these aren't like cotton swabs, but it's more of like a cotton type of like roll, almost like a cotton towel. And now he's gonna begin just kind of working that adhesive off of the unit. And even though it may look like he's being a little more aggressive, you kind of have to use a little force, obviously to get the, the adhesive off. But what he's doing, he's actually holding the unit down with his hand, his fingers, as you can see, and just look how it's coming right off of the unit, right? I've also experienced in the past where maybe a little bit of baking soda, uh, you know, some shampoo, some detergent that also helps remove the glue uh, while it's soaking. 
you know, and that makes it very, very easy. And, and Jonathan now has gone in with a towel, right? And he's just using his hand, but also very, very gently. And it is a process. I will tell you it is a process, but this is what makes it an experience because of all the work that goes into it, right? Do I used to do this myself and going in to have someone do it definitely makes a big difference. So here he is again, just, you know, with some warm water, some hot water, just to kind of loosen up that adhesive and it's just pulling right off. As you can see, you want to make sure, again, this is a poly base. So you want to make sure that all of this glue or this adhesive is fully off of the base of the unit because you don't wanna have any sort of interference. You wanna work on a clean slate. That also really helps with the longevity of the system on the hair and how, on the scalp and how long it actually lasts, right? So here, as you can see, now he's just rinsing it off, uh, you know, making sure they get all the adhesive rinsed off of the unit. And then we can begin the cleansing process, the conditioning process. So he's gonna be using, you know, a shampoo and a conditioner this to me is something that is very essential. Now notice his method and his technique for the process of shampooing. He's not going in using his nails and digging into the unit itself. He's using the palm, his fingers, right? As you can see, he's not scratching. That's what's very, very important. You don't want to scratch because you could actually create some damage to the unit and you don't want to do that. You want to preserve and get as much out of this as you possibly can. So now we're just going to simply rinse the shampoo out, then go in with, you know, maybe another shampoo if you want, or you can just use the conditioner. This is also very, very crucial because the conditioner does help with getting any sort of detangling. It does help smooth the hair out a little bit. I mean, you want the hair to feel good. There's nothing wrong with that. Jonathan did mention to me that during this process, you know, he, he rinses the conditioner out, but he also leaves just a little bit in on the top part where the hair is just to make sure it's a little bit easier to comb through. It's almost like having like a leave-in conditioner, but you want to make sure that it's thoroughly rinsed on the base. Okay. Thoroughly rinse the base to make sure that all the conditioner is off because this is the most important part. Now watch this. I said, Jonathan, what are you doing? This is how he actually dries off the unit. It's a very, very amazing. And look, now he's rolling it in, right? Rolling the unit. And then he just gives it a little push and it's squeezing out that extra moisture. I mean, I never saw this before, but what an amazing technique. And, and it's keeping the integrity of the base. Look at it. It's pretty much dry for the most part. You know, what's important is that the base is dry where the adhesive goes on. The hair itself can be a little bit damp. Obviously, it's not a problem but we're putting the glue on the base, right? So now he's spraying in a detangling spray and this is where the combing out of the knots. Notice how he's holding it down. You always wanna hold down the unit to make sure that it's not gonna fall off, it's not gonna rip, apply some pressure and just really, really brush through. Don't jam on it like, like that. And a vent brush to me or any sort of paddle brush where the teeth are a bit more on the wider side is definitely advised you don't want to use you know a hair cutting comb or start ripping at it and it, it's it's really important so now he's just flipping it around and just doing it on the other side and you can see because of the leave-in spray because of the conditioner it's just going right through no problems whatsoever now what he's doing is just spraying a little bit of some rubbing alcohol on to nick's scalp just to make sure that there's no sort of residue no sort of buildup. And now he's actually measuring where he's going to put the hairline. So four fingers up from kind of the bridge of the nose or the eyebrow area, and that's it. So this is a, this is a dry run, right? A test run. He lines up the, the hairline, starts at the nose, right? And just works up the unit to where it matches up right to that little dot that he created. And it's a great way to keep yourself aligned if you are doing this yourself. And what this is going to do, it's going to actually help him line up the unit. So he just simply said, Nick, can you do me a favor? Hold the unit down so it's not moving all over the place and let's get this lined up properly. And then there we go. So now what he's doing is just giving a little bit of tug on the back of the unit just to make sure everything is perfectly aligned, making all those minimal adjustments. And again, checking the hairline, checking to make sure it's going to be lined up perfectly because once 
the adhesive is on the scalp, you only have that one chance to pretty much lay it on. And that's where Jonathan is so precise. So precise. Now, this is where he is creating these little, you know, markers here to just align up the unit perfectly so he knows where to put the front, right? The base right in the very, very front. That gives him an indicator of this is where it needs to be. <laughs> this is it. So there you can see them. And now he's spraying a little bit of that same rubbing alcohol onto the unit itself. This is just making sure that there's nothing, nothing left on the base to make sure there's no barriers whatsoever. All right, now he's spraying on some, again, a conditioning spray or a, a scalp protection type of spray, just to make sure that the scalp is protected, that it's gonna be in good condition, uh, no irritation or nothing. All right, make sure you really have that worked into the scalp and again if you're doing this on yourself or you're getting this done this is very very crucial but this is what jonathan does right now he's just gonna lightly blow dry that just to make sure that that kind of like a that pre-barrier uh is set in now he's gonna actually do the haircut nick needs a haircut <laughs> so he's getting rid of all that that bulk um throughout the hair just creating a nice little foundation uh, he is going to be doing a really, really short fade. So he's getting all of that out of the way, right? He's getting all that out of the way just to make sure that the majority of the haircut is done. And he does a very interesting process. He actually, and we'll see this shortly, he finishes up the haircut while the adhesive is drying on the scalp. But what he's doing now, for the most part, is getting, again, the majority of it done so the hairs are not flying up and, and sticking to the scalp, right? A really, really smart move by Jonathan, and I think it really makes a big difference, okay? Because what's happening is, if you start cutting hair and it's flying all over the place, it's just gonna get stuck to his scalp, and you do not want that. So instead what he's doing, he's just getting it all ready. Now, he's gonna be using the Ghost Bond, uh, to be applying to Nick's scalp. And he just likes to squeeze it to get any sort of excess glue so there's no like, you know, hard pieces coming out. It's just a pure, seamless, easy application. And also those applicators that he had, they were like applicator sticks with cotton on them, which are so unique. And watch this. He literally, I mean, that, that, that just goes to show the expertise. He literally is just following that square kind of pattern that he did when he was shaving off Nick's existing hair. And this makes the application process literally a breeze. So if you are doing this yourself, I would say they're just cotton applicator swabs or applicator sticks. So much easier than having to use your finger uh, or trying any sort of other types of brushes. I mean, this is really, really uh, makes life so much easier. And this is only the first application. So Jonathan mentioned to me, he does probably two to three applications, and that's what makes it last for so long. Uh, the unit itself could last up to six months. This maintenance can be done, you know, once a month, every month and a half. And I couldn't believe when he said that because I'm like, it's lasting that long, and yes. <laughs> I can just see by the, the precision and the, the effort that Jonathan is doing on Nick's experience here is really second to none. And you know, this adhesive is sticky, <laughs> very, very sticky, but notice how he's really not globbing it onto the hair. Yes, you may get a little bit here and there on the hair, but you know, I was so impressed by how accurate Jonathan was. I mean, he really is just being a perfectionist here, which I admire. And if you are getting this process done, you want someone who's gonna go above and beyond. And now he's just blow drying it, right? Low speed, right? High heat, just to kind of gently get the, the adhesive to dry a little bit quicker, help speed up the time. And just be very, very thorough. Just do not touch your scalp, whatever you do. Do not touch your scalp whatsoever because your finger will stick to it anything will stick to it because it's again really really strong stuff now he's applying a second coat right because you want to get it to the point where the adhesive pretty much goes from white to fully clear 
And, and that's really what makes it show that, yes, it's dry, it's ready to, you're ready to move on to the next process. And again, making that square shape, when he did with the, the trimmer to shave off uh, all of Nick's remaining hair, he actually shaved into some of his natural hair just to create a more consistent base, a more consistent pattern. And I was like, wow, that makes so much more sense as compared to trying to fit it exactly to where your hairline is, right? And the, and the pattern of your hair growth, this makes it so much easier. So now he is applying the same ghost bond right to the base of the unit. Very, very similar process. You're gonna go right down to the edges. He's using those the same applicator stick, which I think is unbelievable. But what's great is you see he's holding down the unit. And the reason he's doing that because the very edges of this unit have a tendency to kind of flip up, which, which really actually helps to show where that line is, where that separation is from the unit and the hair itself. So I think it's a great demonstration here of what Jonathan is doing, where he's allowing that little flip right there to actually flip up as little as it does, but that is allowing, I mean, look at the precision. It's allowing him to really get that adhesive all the way down to right where the, the scalp would be. And that's what makes this look so natural on top of this being a poly base and a very, very thin skin. To me, you can't get any more natural than this, okay? So what he is doing, again, you gotta go back in and apply some more product that's completely normal, okay? But you wanna be as thorough as you possibly can when doing this. And it's like the same thing, like applying it on the scalp. You gotta be very, very gentle. You gotta make sure you're being very, very thorough. You gotta cover the entire unit. Because if you don't, if you don't have the unit covered, then what's gonna happen is it's not gonna, like those areas are not going to stick to or adhere to the scalp properly. You need to have the entire thing fully, fully covered. And he's using a generous amount, right? It's not like he's putting a little dab here and there. He's actually, he was using, as you saw, a pretty generous amount of product. Again, it just ensures that we are gonna have a successful experience here, that the unit is gonna last. It's going to not lift at any point. And Nick is going to be a happy customer. He's going to really feel confident about the unit itself because they're making, he's making an investment. I mean, this is a service that he's, that, you know, you got to pay for this service. And it's not like it's, you know, super inexpensive. You got to really make sure you're getting the most out of it. So like he was doing with the scalp, he's going to go back in with the adhesive and dry it again with the blow dryer. Um, just full heat, just, you know, not super high speeds. You want to make sure you're not going to be blowing the adhesive or the unit off, <laughs> right? And it falls on a floor and then it's, it's a nightmare. You want to make sure you are treating this with care, with caution. And he's not using a T-pin. He's not sticking any needles in it, nothing, because you don't want to create any sort of holes. So now it's fully finished. And this is what I found super unique. What Jonathan is doing, he's actually going back and finishing the fade, right? And he's using that headlamp or that headlight <laughs> to really see, that's how much of a perfectionist, to really see the fade, right? He's really, really going in there and he's just, he's not doing a full haircut because he did all that work before. It's just a little touches on the lower part of the haircut. And that simply means that the hair is not gonna be flying up all over the place. And that's what I really thought was awesome. So here we go, this is it folks, this is it. He's got the unit lined up and he's bringing it up from the from Nick's nose and now he's using kind of a rolling method where he's pulling down on the sides and, and stretching out that base and he's also rolling it. So he's going kind of left to right and that really is gonna ensure precision. I mean, you could see right here, he's not rushing it. He's, he's following where he cut. I mean, it's a perfect, perfect application. He's done this so many times, Jonathan, and that's what makes him an expert in my opinion. And now he's just going to 
work that unit down on the scalp. Great technique here to make sure that you are getting, because you do want to press down, right? You do, want, you do want to press down to make sure that it's sticking to the scalp. And now he's just simply going back in with a little of that rubbing alcohol and just wiping off the marker. And look at that hairline. I mean, you can't even tell. He did such a great job. And also it's the quality of the Levivid hair units. Once again, with the conditioning spray, now he already had it cut. Remember, this is a maintenance service. So he's already had his unit cut. And now Jonathan is us just using his blow dryer, his kind of vent brush and watch the technique. See, he's pulling forward and locking that in. And what it does is it helps camouflage the front hairline, even though as good as it is, it just softens up that hairline to make it look even that much more realistic. So it's a great technique used by Jonathan here. And look at that. I mean, now you don't have to do that, but I think it's just an awesome technique that just kind of pulls down the hair to make it look like it's literally as realistic as possible. You can style it however you want, but they've kind of agreed on this style uh, to create this sort of look. And he's also being very, very gentle with it. As you can see, he's really working the unit in. He's not, you know, gripping, pulling, creating all sorts of, you know, or any sort of potential damage to the unit, which is a good thing. He's being as gentle as he poss possibly can, but he's also working with the hairstyle that Nick wants. But this is, this is something that you really have to take in consideration. This is his hairstyle. This is what Nick is going to be wearing so he feels comfortable and that's it. So you got to be good. And now he's, he's just going in with the thinning shears to blend it a little bit more, take out some of that bulk. And now he's just simply applying uh, some product to it. You can use a variety of products. I always suggest using some sort of maybe clay, like my sea salt clay or something that's really going to kind of bind the hair together to give it that volume and that fullness. He's using a diffuser here. Again, low heat, right? Or low speed with normal heat setting. You don't want to be disrupting the unit whatsoever by, you know, having a, an airplane, you know, engine with the hair blowing all over the place. You want to be as gentle as you possibly can for the integrity of the unit itself. And I mean, this looks incredible. The color is perfect for Nick. Uh, Jonathan did a super, super great job. Uh, if you do have any, interest, go to lividhair.com. You, know, you can follow them on Instagram, have any questions. If you want to have this service done, I would suggest reach out the, to Jonathan and look at this finished result. An incredible job. Hope you enjoyed it. Nick looks awesome. And thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next makeover video.